A new discovery by researchers and scientists at UT Austin could be a game changer when it comes to recycling plastic. Bryce Newberry joins us now and they call it a plastic eating enzyme. So how does it work? Yvonne, this discovery is still in the lab testing stages, but researchers have been able to take big chunks of plastic, put them into the enzyme and then break them down to the molecular level, the basic building blocks that are needed to create new plastic. So take a look here. This shows what happens as plastic breaks down over the course of about 48 hours without the enzyme. These plastics could take hundreds of years to degrade. So far, they found this enzyme works on what's known as PET plastic used in things like water bottles, clear to go food containers or fruit packaging. It makes up 12% of all global waste, according to UT. And this enzyme breaks those things down to the molecular level, like I mentioned, which can then be used to recreate new plastics. And when we have that perfect cycle, we're not needing to make any fresh plastic. We're recovering everything that we've that we've used and can use it once over again. And I think this has an enormous potential to be able to reduce our overall carbon footprint, to reduce our overall environmental footprint. So when it's broken down, the plastic ends up a liquid. Re researchers have been able, uh, or excuse me, working on this over the last three and a half years, which is apparently pretty quick in the science world. The alternative would be throwing plastic in a landfill or burning it, but researchers say that's expensive, energy intensive, and puts toxic gases in the air. So as for what comes next, the researchers are figuring out how to scale up and produce more of the enzyme so that it can be used at an industrial level and eventually clean up polluted sites. They're also taking into consideration that plastic may not always be pristinely clean and that may affect the outcome. Yvonne? So many things to consider, but it's quite interesting. Thanks so much, Bryce. Mm -hmm.